Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to update your Windows 11 to version 25H2 because of this error code that is 0x800F0983. So if you are receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to use Windows 11 installation assistant. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow and you will see update option or install option over here. You can try to install it from here and then check and then restart your computer. If that does not work, the next step is to pause and restart the update. So open Windows settings, go to Windows update and then over here you will see pause option. So hit pause. Now once pause, now resume updates and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run these commands. So type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy the first command. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Now this will run a scan. Once the scan is 100% complete, run the second scan. In my case, the scan is already complete. Now copy the second command paste it over here, hit the enter key. And once the second scan is 100% complete, you have to run the third command. This is important. So run the third command. And once the third command is one, once the scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Next step is to start these services. So type in services in Windows search box, click on services. Find app readiness in services. At the very top, you will see app readiness. Make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK, make a right click and then click on restart. Now find Windows update in the list, scroll down, here you can see Windows update, make a double click on Windows update, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK, make a right click and then click on restart and then you can check. Still not, uh, now you have to start back in background intelligent transfer service. So find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set this to automatic. Again, hit apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now make a right click and then click on restart. And then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use fix problems using Windows Update. Now for this, you can open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update and then click on Update History. Uh, sorry, go to Windows Update and then click on Advanced Option. Go to Recovery Option. And over here you can see Fix Problems Using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So click on Reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once this is complete, restart your computer and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use Media Creation Tool. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see media creation tool. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Now, once you run this exe file, you will see this screen. So click on accept over here and then by default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next, select ISO file over here and then click on next. You can save it to desktop, save and let the download complete. This process will take some time. And once the download is complete, click on finish over here and let this close automatically. This will take few seconds or maybe a minute to close. Once done, go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file over here and then make a double click on setup file, run the setup file, click on yes to allow and then click on next over here. Accept and here you can see ready, ready to install. By default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So hit install. After the installation, log into the computer and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to update your Windows 11 to version 25H2 and you should not receive this error anymore. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.